the 26th of July, 2012. This is Capital FM Online TV News. In the headlines, Haji says government will not dialogue with MRC as the group urges the state not to fear them. ICC prosecutor concerned for poll chaos witnesses in Kenya. Panic as bomb squad probes contents of suspicious briefcase. And Mutula displays the size of skirts that should be allowed for schoolgirls. Good evening, I'm Charles Gishane. A day after the High Court lifted a ban on the Mombasa Republican Council, the government now says that it will hold dialogue with people of the coast as a region, but not individuals or organizations. Speaking after a day-long National Security Advisory Committee meeting at the office of the President, Acting Internal Security Minister Yusuf Haji warned that any criminal activity by MRC members will be dealt with ruthlessly. He says further action on the group will be informed by the outcome of an appeal they plan to lodge against the high court ruling. But the MRC is urging the government to stop fearing them. Speaking through their lawyer, Abraham Singoy, MRC said the court's ruling indicated that their activities did not call for alarm since any illegal activities would not be condoned. The International Criminal Court prosecutor has raised concerns with the government over intimidation of witnesses in two court cases involving four Kenyans at The Hague. Addressing a news conference in Nairobi, Head of Jurisdiction, Complementarity and Cooperation Division, Fakiso Motochoko, said the court is concerned over continuing intimidation to witnesses. He said though the prosecution witnesses were out of the country, their families and others perceived to be ICC witnesses were being intimidated. During his meetings with the Attorney General and the Cabinet Subcommittee on ICC Matters, together with Associate International Cooperation Advisor Shamiso Bizvo, the official discussed matters of cooperation in which Kenya assured of commitment to support the court. Motochoko further said the court is investigating a good number of individuals intimidating witnesses, including those who are allegedly doing it on social media. He spoke ahead of visit to Kenya by ICC Prosecutor Fatou Bensouda. We have highlighted to the government the continuing issue that we have on the question of intimidation to witnesses. Both the ICC and the government agree that intimidation to witnesses, threats to witnesses, are a crime. An abandoned briefcase at the GPO bus stop this morning caused mild panic as officers from the bomb squad cordoned off the area in an attempt to find and defuse any possible harm. As the public was kept at bay, police managed to open the case and only found documents. Vehicles had been barred from coming into the city center as bomb squad officers and the dog section looked into the suspicious briefcase. Police have confirmed that there were no explosives in the case. European Union heads of mission in Kenya have expressed confidence in the chairmanship of IEBC chairman Isaac Hassan. Breaking the silence amid a storm that has rocked the IEBC over the tendering process on the biometric voter registration system, the EU called on stakeholders to allow the chairman to implement its complex mandate free from political interference. EU head of operations Bernard Ray, who spoke on behalf of the heads of mission, however said that IEBC must seek to reinforce its reputation by articulating the measures it is taking to ensure free and fair elections. We encourage the Commission to reinforce this reputation by demonstrating to the Kenyan people the mechanisms and safeguards it is putting in place to ensure the integrity of the elections. And finally, Education Minister Mutula Kilonzo has displayed a model skirt for schoolgirls following a controversy where he was quoted as saying that they should be allowed to wear miniskirts. The minister exhibited a skirt that would drop about two inches below the knee and said that was the right size for schoolgirls. He said the ministry had resolved the impasse at Raitha Girls High School in Moranga who had gone on strike protesting a decision by the school to introduce new uniforms. The minister reiterated that the school managements have to learn to consult widely on matters that touch on the welfare of the students. You get what I said? The school imposed a punishment system whereby the girl was required to wear this and she would go home 
or to her room and adjust. If she is caught, she is ordered to buy five of these cards. And that is what led to the dispute. And that does it for our top stories of the day. Thank you for joining us. I'm Charles Gishanek.